Hello everyone, this is Akash here. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how do you commit changes to a Docker image? Okay, so why I have taken this scenario because this is a very good feature of Docker that you want to create a base image and after creating that base image, you can create your own changes and you can commit that image. Okay, so let's assume that uh, in your production scenario, you want to create multiple containers, multiple runtime containers. And uh, in each and every container, you have to install the same kind of uh, you want to you, know, you want to have the similar kind of environments okay for example you need a ubuntu base image and on top of that ubuntu base image you want to install curl you want to install git wget you want to install some uh, uh, certificate authorities and and several other things okay now the same changes if you want to do it again and again you will not be downloading that base image of ubuntu and then install you can do app get install of all these packages okay so in that scenario what i will do i will just download a base image and i will make some changes in that particular container and i'll push that particular container to a docker image okay so that whenever i will create a new container out of that image all those packages will be installed by default okay yeah so this is a basic scenario now coming to the agenda for this in this we will learn that how to download the base docker image i have already explained this before but i'll do it again for you and then how do you modify that changes and um, how do you modify the changes to a container so once you will create a container out of the base image how do you modify changes in that and then once the changes are done how do you commit that changes to the docker image and once the changes are there once the image is locally available with the new change how do you push that change to the docker registry and once everything is pushed once the demo once the demo is done we will be removing the docker container we will also be remo removing the docker image and at last we'll also remove the image from the docker registry which we have pushed okay so let's go to the terminal yeah so this is my terminal where i have installed docker so this is my terminal where I have, uh, this is nothing but a, this is a Linux image and here I have installed Docker. So this is my Docker client and as well as my Docker engine. If you don't know how to install Docker, you can refer to my previous video where I have explained in detail how do you install Docker from the scratch. Okay. So now that I have the Docker environment ready, I'll probably download a base image so just search docker search ubuntu and if you don't know the name of it maybe you can just i'll just show you how you can search it in the hub so just go to the docker just search in google docker hub so hub.docker.com is the website just create an account so that uh, you can push and pull any of your image okay so i already have an account ready here it's just simple sign up you can just do that while by creating and uh, verifying verifying your email so search here ubuntu so once ubuntu is there you can see all the images out of it so you could just go to tags and you can see that it has a latest tag and it it has all the other images like rolling image and then focal image then the previous image out of it development image bionic image so i would i would just go with the latest image so if you don't provide anything as a tag by default it will pull the latest image if you want to have a specific image of ubuntu you can just go here and see which image you are looking for okay yeah so i'll just go for sorry docker pull ubuntu so if you just run docker images you can see that ubuntu is now there in the local uh, the next thing is that i'll be running this image in a container docker run hyphen it for the interactive mode so that i can go to the container and do make any changes and i need a bash shell okay so now i'm inside the container okay so you can just you can do uname hyphen i and yeah so it's a 64 bit kernel and uh, 
so once you are there in the machine inside the container you can just uh, search for apt get update you can just do apt get update okay and there are some packages which i need to install here so that i don't have to do it again and again so i'll just i need git apt get install git curl okay so these are the two packages which i need Okay, so if you search here now, get hyphen version, sorry, get hyphen hyphen version. Okay, so you can see that I have installed git version 2.17.1 in my container. Okay, so in the base Ubuntu image. And also I'll check the curl version. So the curl version is 7.558. Okay, so now that my git and curl is installed, I'll just exit to this container. And if you see docker ps hyphen a, so here is my container. So what I will do now, I'll just do docker commit and then the container ID. So this is my container ID. And then any image name. For example, my repository, my account name is Akash Kr Kashyap. Slash. I will just give the image name which I want to create. So, for example, Git Ubuntu Git and curl can be my base image. You can give more uh, practical name to it. And I'll just create tag version 1.1 v1.1. Okay. Okay, so see, you can see now if you can just go to Docker images. Yeah, so my image is ready here. My image is now created, but this image is locally available. I want to push it to my Docker Hub uh, repository so that it can be used by any other person also. Now, once it will be pushed to the Docker Hub as a public image, you can also use this image so that you don't have to install Git and curl again and again after getting the base image of Ubuntu. So how do I do that? Just go to Docker push and then just give Akash my account name and then the image name and then the version dot one version. Okay. So it says uh, denied request access to the resource because my I have not logged into Docker. So for, for that you have to log in Docker login and then you have to provide your username the username which you have used while creating the docker hub account and then the password of that so once that once that is done you can just do the clear run the push again and this time it will be pushed okay I'll just go to my Docker account and search for Ubuntu. Sorry. Go to repositories and search for Ubuntu. So you can see here a few seconds before uh, this image has been pushed to my Docker hub, Docker registry. Okay. So if you want to pull that image, you just have to use docker pull and then the image name with the tag name. If you don't provide any tag name, by default, my version 1.1 will, will be pulled. Okay. Yeah, so that's how you can push an image to the docker registry. Once that is done, I'll just go to my docker images. I'll just delete docker RMI, this image. This is just to show you that um, and also I'll just go to docker ps docker container docker ps hyphen a 
to list down all my containers okay so i'll also delete this one docker container rm the container id i'll also delete the ubuntu image so now i don't need the ubuntu base image okay okay so now as i have mentioned that i have already pushed one new image into the docker registry uh, with the name of akash uh, with the name of ubuntu git curl and then the and then the version name okay so i'll just pull this one now docker pull version 1.1 okay so once this will be pulled it also pulls the ubuntu base image along with my new changes so now if you go to docker images and create a container out of it docker run hyphen it bin bash sorry you have to provide the version as well v1.1 okay so once you are inside the now you are inside a container just run git hyphen hyphen version and curl hyphen hyphen version so you can see that um, git provides the same version which i have installed in my previous container uh, which has been pushed to the registry and same as curl also has been provided the same version so that's how you can create your own modified version of the image okay now let's go and delete everything docker images so first i have to come out of the container docker images docker rmi hyphen f so that um, okay i have to provide the version as well okay docker ps hyphen a docker container rm to delete the container and once it is done you can see here we have the image available here also so go to the settings and say delete repository to delete it from the hub permanently so if you don't want to keep that copy of image in your own account so you can delete it from here yeah so now it is completely deleted so that's all for this video thanks a lot for watching please like comment and subscribe to my channel thank you